Okay, Quartz fans, here we are again. Um, we're, we're using Pumpkin's old um, coffee dish to make the basket of a big red balloon. This, this is supposed to get 45 centimeters big, almost a half a meter. <laughs> Almost a half a meter across. <laughs> oh boy. So that's a weather balloon, right? And I can blow it up and when it starts lifting, I can strap my thing to it and start adding weight and see how much weight it pick up by uh, for 45 centimeters or whatever i'd blow it up to 30 centimeters or whatever you know and, and maybe it'll lift maybe it won't but see this stuff this is supposed to be like really light but it it's also like non-leaky okay so so there's some consistency there that your kids balloons at the zoo don't have because um, this is an official weather balloon. And you can blow them up with, um, you know, like compressed air. I've got a, an air compressor down there, but you can't see it. It's buried. Okay, so anyway, I'm in the weather balloon business. I have two of them. All right two of them and so what i'm gonna do is first of all we're gonna it's reusable <laughs> hey that's cool huh reusable balloons and i can blow it up and use it as a mold and they're exactly the right size to cut a one meter square um piece of tin foil and you will over there over there beyond the old pizza is some tin foil that's a meter long it's 40 inches 39 point something something inches anyway <laughs> it's a meter of aluminum foil but it's heavy duty heavy duty and this is like for, um, you know, housing, um, insulation type thing, reflect the heat. So it's big, heavy-duty aluminum foil for um, doing things with. And we're going we're gonna to make balloons out of it by blowing this up and then wrapping that around it. Uh, Wrap it around the blown-up balloon, and, you know, I've got little jars that I'm using for uh, valves that'll just about to fill that, something like that up, um, you know, with some scrunching. And, um, and we're going to have aluminum foil balloons. Just about one meter square perfectly one meter square and and that gives me some numbers to use as i'm developing the lift for my balloons my personal dirigibles are going to have multiple containers right of of, of probably hydrogen um because I can replace the hydrogen as I'm going along from water. And which means if it leaks a little bit, what happens when the hydrogen leaks is not big fires and stuff. It comes out into the atmosphere about, ooh, I don't know if I can measure it that small with my finger, but not very fucking far. And it turns into 
Water vapor. Can't help it. <laughs> H2O every time, man. How about that? The, the thing with the Hindenburg was not hydrogen. It was aluminum with magnesium in it as the alloy. And it's a, a, a big, um, like, conductor, right? Like this metal thing here. And it's passing through the Earth's electromagnetic field, right? Bum, 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 bum. And what happens is because it's it's not like conducting, there's not a circuit going on, it's acting like a capacitor. And it stores a static charge just that builds up on the on the surface of the of the thing as it's passing along. So it it pulled into uh, New Jersey in in a, a storm, and they had come through a, a tremendous storm crossing the Atlantic. It took them longer than they expected, um, and the, they um, put a ground cable out um, to the post that was uh, where they would tie up, and as soon as it hit ground, lightning struck. Boom! And, and the hydrogen, you know, erupted into flames, sure enough. But that was not what made it burn. The hydrogen went away right away, pretty much right away. It was the aluminum. This is aluminum. This is not palladium at the moment. Um, and we make it with the varying degrees, varying amounts of... Um, other things in it, like magnesium, primarily. Magnesium makes it uh, malleable uh, and bendable. Um, and it also lowers the melting point a little bit. Um, and so we have different grades of aluminum that we use for different things, right? So, so we, we use a lighter aluminum. This is a 3033 aluminum. And we had like six, I've got to 60 something. Anyway, it's four numbers, and, and the, it has to do with the amount of uh, magnesium in the aluminum and, and the hardness of the, of the finished product. This is a real soft aluminum. Some aluminums are, are harder than others, and it has to do with the, with the alloy. And the numbers that, the, that we use designate those, and we, so like when we're welding them or something, we have to use the right kind of aluminum um, to, to do that with, or, or you just don't weld it at all, maybe like this 303 stuff. Um, this is extruded. They, they, they spit it out and then they go and stamp it and uh, it's ready to go. Um, and my dog doesn't like it because it makes the coffee taste like uh, like metal. Right? So he, he, he said, nah, thanks, Dad. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll pass on that one to this morning. Uh, and, it, of course, it didn't have any cream in it either. He, he thinks... Dad's uh, new thing with drinking black coffee is uh, not a good idea. So anyway, we're going to turn this into AUPD this morning for fun. And probably outside because uh, I'm tired of setting the damn smoke alarm off. And it's a nice day and we'll go out and blow up the balloon. And then um, we're going to go in the balloon-making business. Far out, huh?